All righty. Maybe we'll just read my notes here. The menopausal transition period is associated with increased body weight and unfavorable changes in body composition and fat deposition. In addition to increased total body fat and adverse changes in fat mass distribution, loss of lean body mass and adipose tissue expansion and redistribution contribute to an increased risk of metabolic disease in aging women. Key metabolic changes that occur during this time include the development of central obesity and insulin resistance. Like essentially as your estrogen plummets, you are going to experience this. You are going to be walking down the pathway of metabolic dysfunction, which together contribute to a marked increase in the risk for metabolic syndrome, type two diabetes and cardiovascular diseases amongst postmenopausal women. Thus the menopausal transition period is accompanied by a substantial risk in metabolic risk, which remains true even if BMI and body weight remain unchanged during this time. So even if you don't gain any weight during this menopausal transition, even if you don't get any extra visceral fat, which most women do, you still end up in a substantial risk for metabolic risk. And that remains true no matter what size you are. So something to think about. Notably, physical activity levels tend to decline during and following the menopause, something that ultimately exacerbates this metabolic dysfunction. Although the extent to which physical inactivity contributes to the metabolic shifts during the menopause is not fully known, it is noteworthy that the typical gain in central adiposity during the menopause is linked to approximately 40% reduction in physical activity. That's nuts, you guys. What they're saying is that this central adiposity or this visceral fat, this middle age middle that we're gaining, and I'll get to some stats in a minute, which are a bit scary, is linked to an approximately 40% reduction in physical activity. And they found this in mice too. So basically what happens is your estrogen's plummeting and you want to stop moving and you gain a bunch of fat in your midsection, or do you gain the fat in your midsection and that contributes to you not wanting to move? Whatever chicken or egg doesn't matter. My point is, is I experienced it myself. And I thought a lot of it was due to this flare of psoriatic arthritis that I was experiencing, but I think it was both. And as I stopped moving, I packed on more weight in the middle. And as I packed on more weight in the middle, I wanted to move less because I hurt more. And I think a lot of it had to do with hormones. And I think it was just a precipitous drop and I was hit with a ton of stress. You guys know my backstory. If you don't go back and listen to all of my Ozempic done right episodes and I talk about it more, but I think that there's something to this because when they took the ovaries out of rodents, they basically stop moving too. They go in the corner and they chill and they don't want to do much and they get fatter. So something here, something is happening. Physical activity, however, has been shown to be highly efficacious in mitigating metabolic disturbances. Physically active women approaching the menopause tend to have a lower BMI less fat mass and greater lean mass, less android adiposity. That's adiposity around the midsection. Gynoid is when you are younger, you have the smaller waist and the bigger hips. And then this android is when you start turning into a little apple shape, right? Your hips and butt disappear and you get a bunch of belly fat, which happens to so many middle-aged women and older women. You can see it, right? We've seen it all happen to our moms and our grandma. Anyway, less when they're exercising, less android adiposity and higher bone mineral density in the femoral and spinal areas, and thus a lower risk of developing obesity and metabolic dysfunction during the menopause. The animal literature shows that rodents selectively bred for high fitness are protected against metabolic dysfunction when they have their ovaries removed, whereas those bred for low fitness are susceptible. Importantly, in both humans and rodents, increasing physical activity is an effective strategy to protect against metabolic dysfunction following ovarian hormone loss, and physical activity is therefore an imperative modifiable risk factor that may prevent or attenuate adverse metabolic changes during menopause. So we're going to talk about some of the details of this. Basically, all that saying is if you go into this fit and active, you're going to do much better. And if you don't, you are going to be in a world of hurt and you are very at risk for metabolic dysfunction and cardiovascular disease and all the things that come with it. 